this is Mike from Acromedia. Um, there's been a lot of talk recently, um, a discussion around Drupal uh, running headless and decoupled, different, different words like that. Um, so just want to give you an idea of how you can actually uh, do this, and it's, it's very easy. So here we have our Urban Hipster Drupal Commerce demo site. Um, you can view it at commerceplus.acromedia.com. Um, and so in the site, I have a couple modules running. Um, so the first one is the uh, JSON API uh, module. And it basically just, uh, as it says here, generates an API server that implements the JSON API specifications. Um, on this page, you can also link through to uh, some good documentation. Um, and as well, there's another module here called the Extend JSON API. And so I have that one installed as well. That's right here. Um, so this, the URL for this uh, Drupal uh, project page is drupal.org slash project slash JSON API. API. Um, so this module on its, on its own, it says here, this module is zero configuration. Once you enable the module, you are done. It is literally that easy. You just turn it on and it, it then exposes your content in a JSON format that you can then use, um, you know, uh, to connect to with, um, you know, a different front end or an app or whatever it is you're building. Um, the JSON, uh, or the, uh, the JSON API extras module that is also installed um, is handy because it allows you to um, override the name of resources and kind of change the path for them and stuff and it actually it's nice because then it gives you a place in the ui that you can you can look to see the different paths for your content um, so let's look at some of that now so now that i have the module installed if i go to configuration uh, web services um, there's the json api overwrites um, so this this menu is only here uh, if you've installed the json api extras module um, so clicking into there, uh, you can see here that uh, all of our enabled resources, so by default, all of your resources are enabled. Um, you can optionally go into, uh, like hit override on one of them and uh, disable it um, and do other things here, like change the, uh, the aliases for the fields and, and the path and stuff like that. Um, but just kind of out of the box, this is this is what it looks like. Basically, you have all of your entity types, your bundles, your names, um, a path associated with each one and whether or not they're enabled. So if I scroll down and let me just go to a commerce. Uh, so here's commerce product. Um, I've got a, a product type called clothing. So let's use that one maybe as an example. If I copy that path and just paste it into my browser here. So my website.com um, slash it ends up being out of the box json api slash commerce underscore product slash clothing go there and bam you can see all of the data formatted in json uh, json format um, so the way i'm looking at it right now is in chrome browser i have a module uh or not a module sorry a, a plugin for chrome called the json formatter uh, it makes it look nice like this uh, Firefox looks nice kind of right out of the box. So depending on your browser, you might want an extension like that. But it basically gives you your data um, and all of the different things that are now accessible. So for this uh, particular um, commerce uh, product type, this is all of the data that's currently associated with it. Um, there you go, pretty pretty easy. I mean, what you do with it, that's that's a whole nother story but at least exposing that data so that you can use it is very easy. It's literally just turning on a single module and you don't have to do anything else. Um, if you want it a little bit easier to look at, like I am now, you install a second module and done. Super easy. All right, take care.